Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Ellie and happy Friday. Today I'm going to be doing a DIY for you guys. Um, I'm not going to call it a tutorial so much because it's not really me showing you guys exactly how to do it. It's more like let's make our own planner. So a couple of you guys requested that I do a planner setup using the mini binder from the Dollar Tree and this is the Jap brand and it is a one inch and this is similar to the A5 size planner so I'm going to be making my own planner using this binder so that's why it's more of a DIY and not so much of a tutorial um, but the the paper pad that I'm going to be using is this one right here and this is the Say La Vie paper pad from Michaels. It was a hot buy last year and this is all Paris themed and I love this paper pad. I've used it quite a bit. So I decided to use this one because I think the color combinations will go really, really nice with this planner. So this is the paper pad that I picked out and I'm going to share with you guys the papers that I'm going to be using. So as for my dividers, I am going to be doing three dividers today and that is going to be, let's see, that's going to be this one right here and this is the perfume um, paper and then here is the one with the bicycles and then here is a floral one. Now this one I'm going to be doing it with you guys so that's why I didn't do it yet and then these are already pretty much done. So I already punched the holes for this one and it worked out great. In this one I was testing my um, Recollections A5 punch and as you can see it has a lot of holes. So you know the way to fix this is just add washi over it and not throw paper away. So that's what I'm going to be doing with that. And then the paper pad comes with pull apart cards and this I pulled out three sheets of this and I cut three sheets well not three sheets but I cut two of them apart already and as you can see these are like all the pull aparts look at how cute that one is so these all came with this and I cut these out because I'm going to be using this as my die cuts and as my decoration and I just wanted to show you guys how these pull apart cards look when they're intact and this is one of them so I just need to cut this one apart as well and then the extra pieces that you guys have don't throw them away save them because you can always make um, planner markers out of them you know like page markers binder markers um, you can make washi tags with them you can make all kinds of things so definitely don't throw your scraps away I also pulled out a few of my doilies just in case I need them you know just to give it a little bit of something extra and from the planner society box I pulled out these dividers right here this one says week this one says to do and then this one says week so I don't know which one I'm going to use but I pulled these out just in case I need them I have my scoreboard my paper cutter and three of my laminating sheets because I am going to be laminating these I'm not going to be using this planner for a little while so I want to make sure that my paper stays nice and tacked um, and I want it you know to last so definitely I'm not going to be using those yet so that's why I want to laminate them normally I don't although I do keep all my planners in good condition um, I just want to laminate them to make sure that you know they last longer for me now as far as my inserts I'm going to be using these right here these were given to me by my friend Sarah a while back and they come with six dividers 78 weekly pages and 18 monthly pages and these you can pick up at the target dollar spot so if you guys see these definitely pick them up because you can use them for this planner right here and then today I went to target with my daughter and I picked this up um, mostly for the folders because I don't need the dividers and this has six dividers and three double-sided pockets you know I'm not gonna toss the dividers out I'm gonna keep them you know in case I ever need them but these are the inserts that I'm gonna be using so just to show you guys um, a little bit here is the insert for my A5 planner from the Recollections brand and if you can see there is a little bit of a difference so the ones from the Target dollar spot are slightly smaller but I'm using this as my template so I just wanted to show you guys like the difference um, that way you guys can 
see how I'm doing everything. But let's go ahead and get started. Let me move some of this stuff to the side because I have a whole bunch of stuff over here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the divider. And I'm going to show you guys how I went. I am going to make it, I don't know if I told you guys, but it is going to be double-sided. So I'm going to show you guys how I got that to be double-sided. So I'm just going to cut off this little extra piece right here. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side for a little bit. And so that I can see where my lines fall, I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to go ahead and trace this down. Okay, so that looks good. That was bad. Okay. And then you're going to do the same thing over here. But the only thing that you're tracing is the top part. Okay? So now that you have that all traced out, let's go ahead and cut it. And then I'll show you guys how I get the double-sided part. My lines look a little bit crooked, but... I'll work with it. Okay, so remember you can save that. And now that I have this right here, I'm gonna use this middle line as my guide to score my line. So I'm just gonna take this, and I'm not even gonna open it all the way, just because I don't need to. So I'm going to go ahead and just score and I'll show you guys the next step. Alright guys, so now that I went ahead and scored, so this was my line and I'm, I scored it so now I'm going to fold this over and everything looks good, everything looks nice and even. Okay, so you see how I have this little extra piece? I'm just going to go ahead and take my paper cutter. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut it. Just like that. Okay, perfect. So now you have a whole divider right there. So now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and mark your holes. And remember, you always want to punch your holes before you laminate because that way um, it's a lot easier. You're only laminating through the laminating paper. Okay, perfect. So now that that's ready, I'm going to go ahead and get all my dividers. And I'm going to start laying down my washi tapes. Sorry, there's a lot of like hand moving around. Um, okay, so here I have all three. And remember, you don't have to worry about like gluing this or anything because once you lay down the, um, once you put it in the, what do you call the laminating sheet, then you're no longer, it'll stay in place. So you're not gonna have to put it away or anything. Put it away, I'm putting my uh, eraser away. Um, you're not gonna have to seal it, so don't worry about it. Jesus. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and lay down all of my washi first. And remember, I kind of just like to add adhesive to make sure that everything kind of just stays in place. Because washi is not the best adhesive. And I'm using a somewhat like peachy color 
um, because there's a lot of like peach in here. So that's what I'm using. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. And I'm going to just add all my washi to everything first. So this one I decided I'm going to pair it with the um, black and like red roses. You guys have seen me use this washi before. I really like it so I think it goes nice with the color tones that I have going on. Oh, so um, I forgot to tell you guys, I think um, one of you guys had told me to update you guys as far as like my daughter's high school thing, and um, she did not get accepted to the school that we were hoping for, but she is on the wait list. Um, so she got accepted to like a military school, and um, right now we are in the process of doing second rounds, but since she is on the wait list, we're going to go ahead and, you know, take a chance at it and see if she gets into the school we were hoping for. Um, otherwise, sh we will consider the military school or we will consider um, just the neighborhood high school. But, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little update on that. And she's number 10. She was She started off, I think, at number 23 if I'm not mistaken, and then she was at 15, and now she's at 10, so we're keeping our fingers crossed, and, you know, we're hoping she gets up there, so we'll see how it goes, but if we were to apply to the second round, then from what she told me, her teacher told her, then uh, she wouldn't be considered for the wait list, so I guess we're going to be taking that chance, but yeah, so thank you guys to, you know, um, you guys for being interested in that and wishing her luck so thank you guys all right perfect guys so i went ahead and i added all the washi and i punched my holes and that was really really easy so as you can see everything looks really good there you go and then this is the one that i messed up but look it almost looks as if i didn't even mess it up so washi is definitely a good saver so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some of our die cuts just so that um, I'm not adding anything while I um, over the laminating sheet. I think the only thing I'm going to add is the, what do you call it, the, um, the divider, the tab, sorry. Like this one's cute. I'm just kind of trying to see, you know, like what I want to use as far as that goes. I really do like this little cute poodle. I love that one right there. This one says we sh Oh, we can do this, like Magnifique Journey. I have no idea how to speak French. Um, let me see if there's any here that I want to cut up. This one's cute, this Take Me to Paris one, I love it. But I think I'm going to use these three right here. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do something like this. I'm gonna layer a doily over this one and then I'm gonna do the red and black doily and then I think I'm gonna do two cards over here. But for this one, I think I'm gonna round the corners um, but I'm going to go ahead and start gluing everything down. I kind of did want to cut the border out, but I kind of like like the little like green peeking through. So. And I think I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to put it a little bit on this side. I know I haven't been doing a lot of hauls, um, especially for Michaels. 
And again, that's because I am kind of on a budget and I've been having fun just going through my stash using, you know, what I have. So, yeah, so I apologize if you guys have been, like, looking for, like, Michael's hauls and all that stuff. But look at how cute that looks. I think this is my favorite one. I love that one. Now we're going to go ahead and do this. Oh, yeah, that just happened. Okay. That's why I hate gluing doilies. Let's try this again. <laughs> it's because this adhesive is really strong, I tell you guys. We're gonna like lower it like that. And I think I should round the corners. Let me go ahead and round them. All right, perfect. And look at how it looks. It looks so cute. So I think then what I'm going to do is after I layer it, I mean, after I laminate it, um, I might add like a cute little bow or a little like rhinestone here or something. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it this way. I like how that looks. All right, guys. So for this one, I went ahead and just added a little bit of a doily. Um, right there just to give it a little bit pop of a color and then I added the little coffee is the best tea or the best idea and then the little magnif uh, magnific bike <laughs> right up top but that's what both uh, what all three dividers look like so I'm gonna go ahead and laminate them and I'll be right back all right guys well here we go i went ahead and i laminated everything and they turned out really great just don't forget to at the end round a little bit the corners because that way you don't cut yourself and then you want to make sure you always leave a little bit of space so that the um laminating sheet doesn't open up on you and then don't forget to punch your holes over here up top i added the weak divider the weak tab um because i want to use it as kind of like a bookmark so let's just go ahead and start putting everything together sorry this is already kind of like a long video i'm going to try to make this as quick as possible but um okay so here you have the days of the week or actually i think i wanted to put my folders first Okay, so you get three folders, and I wanted to put these first. All right, so I added the pink one. Now I'm going to add the green one right here. They didn't do a good job punching these holes. I'll clean that up later. And then I'm going to add the orange one, which is kind of like a peach color. And then this is going to be my divider for that. And then here we have the wigs. And then here is my divider for that. And then here you have the monthly. And here is my divider for that. But look at how nice that fit and how cute it is. So um, I do need to, um, I think I'm going to put the to-do one maybe right here so that anything that I have to do I can put in there. And then I do need a monthly one. Um, so I'm probably going to have to make one for that. So then I'm just going to finish it off with this paper right here that I cut down to size. It's the little macaroons. I'm going to add a little doily. You know, just to decorate it as you would like your regular planner, add that. And then maybe like the little Saint Note right there. And then the little Paris right there. So pretty much something like that. And then you can always add some paper clips to decorate. You can add like a little pen loop, you know, to put your pen in. But that is it, guys. That is how you do a Dollar Tree 
um, DIY planner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Ali underscore plan with me. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.